Now the Spirit of the Lord gave me this song one night when I was dealing with some things and I had prayed a lot. And then anytime we pray, we say what? After prayer, you say what? After prayer, you say what? I cannot hear you. After prayer, you say what? So he began to take me through a journey. It looks like we say amen without meaning. That we say amen a lot. Imagine all the amens you've said to all the prayers you have heard if they were working. At this time, but he gave me a deeper meaning. That anytime we say amen, we are trying to say that let the will of God for my life come to pass. That when I say God bless you and you say amen, it means that you are bringing your will in alignment with the will of God for the fulfillment of that prayer. So for every promise of God in the Bible, until you have consciously said an amen to it, you cannot have it. You know why? God does not impose his blessings. He's given us our will. But he has lifted his word above himself. So if the Lord said you shall be the head and never the tail, and you're going to chant an amen right now, it means you're pulling that blessing no matter where it is hiding and bringing it to this place right. Can you shout it out one more time?
you shall be above and not beneath. He said, thousands shall fall at your left, ten thousand at your right hand, but they cannot come near you. He said, they that dwell in the secret place of the Most High shall surely abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He said, I wish above all things that thou may prosper and be in good health, even as thy soul prospered. He says, the Lord will be your shepherd and you shall know what, even though you walk through the valleys of the shadows of death, you shall the enemy is walking around like a roaring lion seeking for whom to devour but guess what anytime he comes close to you my bible tells me that the holy ghost shall raise a standard against him the bible say that and by his stripes we have been healed to the accuser of the brethren the bible says that for we have been given christ our hope we have been given a much more better covenant with better promises through christ jesus so let the weak say I am strong. Let the poor say I am rich. I declare right now, whatever your prayer is, I call it done. It's an amen. It's an amen. Can you shout with us one more time? Lift up an amen. So it means that when the will of God is coming to pass in your life, no other will has the chance to enter your life. What I mean is that if God says you are blessed and the enemy say you are cursed, that of the enemy is nullified. Are you with me? And so those who look down upon you, those who said you amount to nothing, those who said there's no future to you, right now as you chant an amen to the promises of God, that your way shall be prosperous. He said for the way of the righteous, shine a brighter, 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 even unto the day of the Lord. Can you shout one more time? Amen. Can I see your hand? Shout it out with your hand lift to every promise, to every blessing, to every healing, to every promotion, to every deliverance, to every travel door, to every first class, to every fruit of the womb, to any form of healing. Come on, shout it. Shout it one more time.
I hear the saxophone? Oh uh-huh. 